Hi, everybody. Hi. Hi. Um, we are going to have a good topic today. We are. I think. Yes. Um, we're actually leaving one of my favorite communities called leaving. Waterly. Oh, no. Like, we just got finished doing some work here. Yes. But we thought, based on our topic for today, it'd be a really good place to start. Um, because in this current market, and again, anything we talk about now is, is our market as of today. It doesn't right. mean that it's going to be the market as of three it years from now. March 2022. Yes, March 2022. Um, is it? Yeah. Oh, 2022. I got yes. it. I was like, it's not March 20th, is it already? No, no, okay, no, I got no, you. No, okay. Phew. <laughs> All right. That was scary. Yes. Um, anyway, so so Dear Horton in this particular community, they've always been, or at least, you know, for as long as this community's been here, yeah. they've been considered an inventory builder, meaning that it's not so much that you get to do the true build from dirt experience. Um, you pretty much, if you like a floor plan, we find out where is that floor plan yep. going to go. Now, you know, it's had some tweaks um, along the way as the community has developed. And of course, as the market has, has warranted sure. change. But, um, but that's what we're going to talk about. Yes, I can tell you're antsy to say something. Go no, on. I'm not. I, w- I was listening to you with rapt attention. Mm-hmm. I was. Mm-hmm. No, that was it. Totally. I, I really wasn't. Yeah, so, I have nothing to say. Um, well, the reason it matters now is because, um, well, first of all, this community is still growing and thriving. There's still more phases. In fact, that's what we were hoping to see if we could get you in a little and, bit further. Yeah, but I would say go go Lost Creek first and then we'll loop, loop around because you can talk about what stages of construction things are at, yeah. et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. Et cetera. yeah. Okay, so um, so a lot of the builders now have again, and this is we talk about this a lot, and I hope you're not like bored of it, but we talk about the building material issues and how that is essentially wreaking havoc with the builders' timelines. Yes. It's not in their control. So when people get mad at the builders, it's really about, as we say all the time, setting those expectations. And I think the builders are doing um, a, a good job of trying to navigate that. And in some ways, they've had to make some business model adjustments. Sure. Um, to accommodate, and that's exactly what many, many, many builders are doing. Build, builders that you would typically build from dirt, right? You would pick your dirt light, pick yep. everything, go through the whole process. So we're going to talk a little bit about those pre-done design packages, um, and and I don't want people to think, and um, I'm sure you're going to show them some some of the the packages that we we just yes, ma'am. Some, I will. Um, I'm guessing. I don't know. We don't know how this video will be when we come together. Yeah. Um, However, um, I don't want people to think that when you choose a design package that that means that you have some ugly interior, and that's absolutely not right. the case. They, they're, they're interior designers. They're design team experts that have that visual eye, have already pre-packaged, both for the aesthetic, <laughs> but, I mean, of course, because they still want you to have a beautiful home, but also for the availability of that material. That's a great, that's a great point. The availability is important. Yes. One thing I think is interesting is, uh, Dr. Horton. So we built our home from dirt, yes. and we picked out a certain cabinets. We picked yes. the flooring. We picked the counter. And then what happens? We come in and we look at one of the mm-hmm. things. And I just asked you. I said, yeah. "Which one's your favorite?" It's like, well, that, that one because it's exactly what we built it, ourselves. It is all except the backsplash. It is yep. the same color cabinet. It is the same granite or quartz countertop. Yep. A lot of it is the same, and even the wood flooring kind of has the same color-ish. So, real quick, it's a good spot to talk about series. So, to yes. our right right now is Emerald Series, and what's that? Those are your Banner Series. Okay. Those are your rear-entry garage-style homes. Um, and it doesn't, just because it's a rear entry doesn't mean that, you know, there's anything like... It's but just, now it's Banner weird. Series, do they have, they have some front load... Yes, yes, they in do. The, in the they Banner do. Series. Yes. Okay, yeah. But this, and, and that originally was just that there were some homes that were... Um, Okay, so they always had like townhomes and certain homes that were already done as a pre-packaged design yes. option. That was always the case. Yes. Now, new, um, not new as in like right now, but newer are these Emerald Series, these yes. luxury homes that have the tile roofs that back up to Laker Conservation. Um, those also have predetermined design packages. However, they are more upgraded. You yes. do have a wood plank looking flooring that's extended throughout excuse me, uh, wood plank flooring that's extended throughout, um, meaning you, you know, there's no carpet on that first floor yes. essentially. Um, and it, it's, you know, you've got the quartz countertops, you've got a higher baseboards, you've got a gourmet kitchen that's already been chosen in the mm-hmm. home. So anyway, so, so they've just had to make again, some, some changes with their business model. And, and so like, so what, how that, how does that affect <laughs> this guy's coming backwards and now I'm nervous. Are you nervous? No, because I'm going to stop. 
I'm assuming he's going to go that he's way, right? He's an excellent driver. Well, plus the dude hanging on the back's like, whatever. No. Um, so... Like the Gators? So, it, they've changed their business model a little bit. It's all. They've also changed how... When you can buy a home. Yes. Okay, so tell, tell me about that. Well, okay, so... So, again, you know, the builders are trying to manage... <laughs> excuse me, the time issues. And so, they're releasing homes... Uh, pretty much once they've started. So once, like these homes that you see here are probably already under contract. Oh, yeah, almost for sure. <coughs> well, wait, so let me take that back though. So, so <coughs> let, let's t- take a pause. We're going to have a break in the action right now for Amy <coughs> just to cough her lungs out. I'm okay. You good? Okay. Yeah. No break in the action. <laughs> On we go. So I don't so, have a Diet Coke. I know, problem. Uh. Um, so, so these are, so... But in Banner Series, weren't they going to stage something else where there was actual lumber in the house? They, and- so they were originally. So they used to say they weren't going to release homes for sale until they were in like stage five or six of construction, which essentially meant like this, like pre-drywall. Yeah. They've, I've noticed that they've changed that. So now they are selling them. They're releasing them for that highest and best offer. Remember, every builder is doing something different. Yep. This is one of the builders that does uh, a release on Wednesday. They do highest and best offers by Sunday. Then yep. you find out whether you get it Sunday night or Monday morning. And if it if no one bids on it for that weekend, then it's available yeah. first come, first serve. But so mm-hmm. the, the song in my head, there's always oh. a song in my head for every, No, this is a good one for everyone. So when you hear Highest and Best, you should hear dun 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 uh, that, uh, the Eminem song. Um, oh. Lose yourself. <laughs> you only get one shot. To not, one shot. Like, Highest and best, there's no escalatory clause. There's no, no. it's literally, tell <laughs> yeah. me what you're going to pay for this house and we'll pick the highest and best. And by the way, there's some strategy with that as well. Yes. Um, so again, that's why it's important to call me. Yep. Um, and we'll tell you some of the things that you can do to make your highest and best offer. Because by the way, it doesn't mean that it has to be, I should say, it, highest or best. Because sure. I've had clients, you know, highest wasn't necessarily the best. I, I I, yeah, it's just gonna go. So he's like, I'm coming I'm, through. I'm well, he's a, that's his lane. It his lane's his open. Lane. It is. That's the rules of the Central Florida standoff: is, is if it's your lane, you get to go. <laughs> I but. know. Okay. Um, anyway, so oh, here we go again. Yeah, we well, get a little more room here. So. Yes. True. 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 Um, but yeah, so so you know, in in many cases, they're they're releasing things on Wednesdays, and I will tell you, sometimes on Wednesday, and I get I get my information from them every Wednesday. They have their builder sales meetings. They find out what's released. Yep. I get an email. <laughs> you get I, several. Emails. I get. I know exactly what's going to be released, and sometimes it's a lot. Sometimes it's not. Um, yep. You know, sometimes it's n- no <clears throat> no Emerald series. Sometimes it's just, you know, townhomes or the bungalows. Yeah. So it's, there is no, you know, I, I've said no rhyme or reason. There's a rhyme or reason for them because they know what's going yeah. on within their own company, of course. But for us, as the average and person looking in. And it's really, based on, though, where they are. Like, at, they get to a certain point in the construction. Even still, it's, it's sooner now. I think I think in many cases, um, it's they've broken ground. Um, right. I know that with Hanover. Yeah. Um, that's what they're doing over there. Is once it's broken ground, they can release for sale. Um, some builders are still waiting a little bit further in the yeah. process. And the reason they're waiting is so that they can manage your expectation. And they can say, look, at this point, we know we've already got the trusses. We've got the lumber. We've got the windows. Yeah. So we shouldn't really hit, knock on wood, any more major delays. So give me give me an expectation about, if I'm getting an Emerald Series home, what's behind me? Because we just drove yeah. we had a loop around Sonoma Coast, um, and which is a big, long road. It's a big, long loop. But everything behind me, if I'm emerald, is... It's going to be on the lake. Okay. So, there's lake behind you. Now, I tell people, and this is very important to know, because, you know, Mother Earth... By the way, this is the second of the amenity centers. Um, and third total. Third total. Well, there's one in phase one, which is slightly disconnected from yes. from this phase. But this is... Uh, here, there's a, just a giant amenity center. Yeah. And then there's this one, which, by the way, is also super nice. Yeah. Picnic area. But some town home, area. Now we're passing some townhomes. So, you yep. s- you're getting a sense... That yeah. Th- my favorite thing about this community is that they have they have managed to weave those things together yes, really well. Yeah. You don't feel like you just left the neighborhood. No. I mean, look at all the green space beside it's us. It's so good. You yeah. know, they, they they have allowed for that. And that's what I appreciate as a person who lives yeah. here. Yes, you might go up and down a street and there's a lot of homes, but at the end of that street, there's a lot of open green space. It's really nice. Or there's a pond with a fountain and some benches that sit around it. They've done an absolutely 
just a stellar job of designing this community. And look at the width of this street. Correct. Now, so you have rear entry garages. Now, in Central Florida, you think, okay, well, people will park back where the garage is. They don't really. So, I mean, they do, but in some, to- some t- cases, they park in front of their house because mm-hmm. they go in the front door. So you need a wide street. Well, this is as wide a street as you get in a residential community. A- agree? True, true. Um, so go, I'll go over Going here. back to the Emerald Series, because I didn't really finish my thought on okay. that one. So um, with the Emerald Series, you ask what they back up to, and yes. I said the lake. But remember, um, you know, Mother Earth is... It, it's not a pristine, everything is the same. So Which some, is what's good about it, yeah. Yes. So somebody's backyard view could be purely unobstructed view of right. the lake. Somebody else's, the neighbor, could have, you know, 10 feet of trees and then the lake. Right. Somebody else could have... Oh, he's just not stopping. Hey, he's like, I'm just... Dowsel. Like, that was somebody not playing the, the standoff. Damn. By the way, Pools by Bradley is built a pool over Ooh, there. Oh, that's building can, ours. Can let's share some exciting news. We are out. We're not out of permitting. We got HOA approval. Yes. Woo. And we got, uh, and the per- permits have been submitted. Now yes. it's going to be a long process, but if you liked our, if you enjoyed our Home for the Holidays series, we're going to have a pool for the summer. Well, we won't have it. won't be for the summer. summer. Yeah, for the summer of 2023. Yeah. It takes a long time. Okay, so anyway, so hey, stay tuned for that because we are going to have that. We're going to show you the thing. Now, yes. We have a choice to make. Stop right here. Uh huh. There's a cart behind me though, so. Okay, well then you just go straight. That I want to go straight. Okay, go right. Go right then. We're going to go into phase four. See, he's going. Well, I know. He's a big old All the cool kids are going to phase four. I, I am so not cool. I was you never could, a cool you kid. You could have gotten there, but maybe there's an entrance here. If not, we'll come back to that way. I'll yeah. look and see. But look yeah, how well been. under construction. Yeah, so we'll, we're going we'll to we're gonna try to drive you into phase four. We'll see. So yes, out here to my to my left is, is phase four. And yeah. look at how much is already under construction there. Yeah. So here's something important. So just real quick because we're passing it. Future school site right there. Yes. So there's going to be a school there. There was another, when we were down on Lost Creek, there was another school site. So there's a lot of schools <laughs> going in here because there's a lot of families going to live here. Mm-hmm. Oh, we can go in there. Yes. Yeah, so I, have, I figured this would probably, if there was a road. Okay, this you're would be smart. Okay. okay. If you're so smart, you're not. No, I'm just kidding. No, I just, when I know random stupid facts, I like to share them, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, that's Lake Erig over there. I-H-R-I-G. Thank you very much, everyone. It's because the lot we wanted was on the other side of that. It was. Right? Yeah. Yep, yep, one yep, one of the lots that we looked hey, at. Hey, so listen. Seriously. You you are now in phase four, my, my friends. Yeah. So we're on Point Rock Drive. We'll put the map up to show you. But you can see some of these are at the stage, close to the stage where the other ones were. Mm-hmm. And would you agree that for a while we've been in a little bit of a pattern of emerald? A lot of emerald, a lot of emerald, and not a lot of, not a ton of banner. Would you agree? It just seems that no. way to me. No? Okay, well, I'm wrong again. No, well, it I mean. It seems like it's always been a every, North Haven and a Well, that's because when, you, when you go on the perimeter. I mean. Yeah, but when you go on, yes, when you go on the perimeter of the community, that's where all your emeralds have to be. But here will be. Right, yeah, and you can more, see that there's, yeah. you know, these are going to be banner series. And they've got the signs up for <laughs> what they're going to be. Now, you can't buy these yet, but you should stay tuned mm-hmm. because they'll, they'll start releasing them, yeah. like, literally every week. Yeah. And so, as I often like to say. What should they do first, Amy? Call me. They should call you. Why? Uh, why? If I want to buy one of these, they're going to go on sale. So why? Why? Because you want to have the inside scoop. You want to know That's what's true. going on. You want to have some insider information. And I, I get that from the builders. And yeah. I'm not the only realtor that does. But there's a right. lot of people that don't really understand how the process works. Right. And being prepared is most important. Yeah. One thing I want to point out here, and I know we're going to wrap up the video. Right? No, you're fine. I mean, you can um, go that way because it's dead. Well, no, go, you can go down. It's um, a dead end, but we'll turn around. One of the things I want to mention is that if you see all of these homes under construction so dr horton and again i don't work for or represent the builder but dr horton is i think it's like america's largest builder mm-hmm. um well at least was so uh at one point in time for sure if it's not still this goes um, back forever but, but my point is they have um they have go this no, you're not no, there's, a ribbon there. there's a ribbon there. There's a ribbon there. Um, there's a ribbon in the road. My point is, there's a big ditch Stop in front you. of us. So yeah, so maybe go, go that way. Either. Okay, so it's it's like the Jurassic Park ride at, <laughs> at Universal okay. right now. What I'm trying to say. Yes. Okay, is that. DR Horton maintains their crews. So yes. where a lot of builders are having unprecedented delays, it's also about the trades. It's also about the crews that are actually building your homes. So one of the nice things when you have a builder that has this big a presence, that they have this large a community with the sheer volume of homes, the 
the trades and the crews can be maintained, which is going to keep things going smoothly. And in a market where things very rarely go smoothly, it should give you great confidence in a community and in a builder like yes. this that they have a substantial amount of, um, of crews. What? Stop right here real quick so we can just point out. Mm -hmm. So that's Water Spring Elementary, which is where the kids from here go. True? Yes. Okay. For now, until they build the other ones. Oh, wait. And then, he's got, he's going to go through that ribbon. <gasps> oh. No, he's not. He's, he's going over the dirt. So we're going to have to turn around and do the... We'll go around. Okay. But I can't go that way because that's right. where the ditch just, was. Yeah, so just back up here. I will. I got it. You do talk. Turn. Okay. <laughs> Pivot. Okay. So, I know what you're doing. It's fine. I trust you with my truck. Okay. Anyway. And then behind us is Story Grove. Yep. So that's how, but if, if you know the area, now we've done Sunday drives to show you how far down Avalon Road this actually is. Yeah. So we're heading north-ish right now. Mm -hmm. um, no, we're heading north because my Ford Ranger's telling us we're heading north. Now we're turning to the, to the west. But, you know, so straight north that way, you get all the way back up toward Hamlin. You get toward all these other places. Go, go south, you're going to get to Encore Ovation. Uh, the new Del Webb Oasis, all those things we've taken on drives before. But it's... Um... But look at this beautiful stuff in front of us. <sighs> this is what is so unique about this piece of land. And I will yeah, tell it you is. that it is... It is just spectacular out here. It really here. is. It is it is truly my favorite community as far as the full package. Yep. Um, it is... Again, they've just done such a good job with designing where the streets will be, where the ponds will be, yes. where the natural water already is. Um, you know, things that they can accentuate. And, I mean, there's just these little pockets of, what is it again? Lake Well, that's Erie. not Lake Erie. That's it's a different not, lake. I'll, different. I'll, I'll put on the but screen what that is if I can figure it out. All these little itty-bitty ones that are all scattered yeah. throughout this community just really kind of makes it um, just... It's just it's, Florida. And it's just amazing. I always think it's what Walt Disney saw... When he came here, do you know what I mean? Like, like when Walt Disney was building, uh, maybe that way. I don't think I can get <laughs> it's up. It's just danger everywhere. I know, I'm so scared. Um, trapped on the next Sunday drive. <laughs> trapped in Phase Four. Okay, um, but the so this is Point Rock. Remember, we were, weren't we on Point Rock? So this is good to go that way, and I think we're, we're set. But I always think about when I see all the natural beauty of this area, mm -hmm. I always think to myself, you know, because the the legendary story is, you know, Walt Disney comes here having built Disneyland in California, and he sees this land with all this water flowing and all this, you know, I mean, there's some very wetlands and things, but he saw it, and you see the beauty that everyone who comes here sees when you come to Waterloo. That's what I was getting at. Yeah. And it's so, um, it's so peaceful. Back where it's Sonoma Coast where we were, we've got a few clients that have built back there and are in the process of building back there. And so I, I come over sometimes to get video and things, and, and it's just so quiet and still and peaceful. You can hear the birds chirping, the ospreys are flying around. Yeah. And um, so my father, uh, his the, his favorite poem, uh, we read it at his funeral, actually. It was called The Peace of Wild Things. And I get that here at, in Waterloo. I was over right in that little park over there, mm -hmm. and there was, there was like 15 wild turkeys just walking around one day. Um, I don't think I still have that video. I'd, I'd call it if I did. But they're just like walking around, chilling out. It's just, it's beautiful. It's, it's really pretty That's the here. sum total of what I'm it's trying to tell you. favorite. Beautiful. Love and, it. you know, not only is the community itself beautiful, but even the entrance to the community with the yeah. big waterfall entrances, it really is most, um, most resembling a Disney resort. Yes. Um, and you really do feel like you're coming into one. So all I have to say is Waterly A plus in my book. Yeah. Um, Phase four looks amazing. Oh, I mean, look at that. Oh, wow. Amazing. I mean, wow. And by the way, we're not, this is not like YouTuber, like us feigning reaction to something that's, it's this, that's a wow. It's just, it's beautiful. It's a it, wow. It is. So, um, so I, I mean, that, so that, that's going to be rear facing homes. They're going to overlook that. Come on. That's amazing. It's gorgeous. Up on the hill, looking down over just natural Florida wetland beauty. Yeah. I'm well done. done. Well, I don't want to talk about it anymore. I'm just going to well, say Well, I am honored reflect. to have sold many, many, many of yes. their homes, and I am excited to sell many, many more. So if you are interested in this community, yeah. don't forget, give me a call, 407-848-8042. Are you good? I'm good. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. We appreciate you. Stay safe. Stay well. Remember, we love you. Happy house hunting. And hi, Mom. Bye.